It's time for the Minimax season finale. Miles Barthorpe and Archie Kitching on the front row of the grid from Max Edmondson and Marcus Littlewood. Sam Gornall and Brody Trahorn still with a slim chance of the title from Sean Cuss and Machi Himera. Tristan Rennie and Harry Reynolds from Waniki, who missed all of Friday. Murphy, then Paleo K, Klein Nagelvort, Knight, Voicin, and Alex Hughes. So this is going to be a very interesting battle. In Minimax, the championship has been very strong all season long. But for the big four names in this field, Barthorpe, Edmondson, Littlewood and Trehorn, they have been at each other's throats all season long and they are going to give us a spectacular end to the season. The only way Barthorpe is going to lose the championship now is if he retires from the race. So obviously he needs to have an absolute howler. He has come through at the start and it's his teammate Archie Kitching who has yet again beaten him to the first corner. He's one of the only drivers all weekend who off the start of a race here at PF International has come from the outside line to sweep across on his teammate Miles Barthorpe and he's done it several times over the course of this weekend as Edmondson has an initial look at Marcus Littlewood. He's not going to get through but Littlewood on the spirit of center machine is there in third place trying to chase down a victory because not only is there a battle for the title between Barthorpe and Trehorn, there is also a battle for the third place spot between that man Marcus Littlewood and Max Edmondson so there is a lot to play for in this final race of the season really exciting first lap Kitching running with Barthorpe then it's Littlewood third position the field still very tightly knit as we just watched Charlie Knight making up a few places on the first lap he didn't have a great pre-final Ellis Paleo trying to make up some moves there as well for the Mick Barrett racing team the Welshman as they come through Keep an eye on this pack. Now, the way that this weekend has worked out so far is that the leading four or five break away, Sam Gornall's usually part of that, so watch him make a move on Brody Trehorn. But sadly, in the championship fight, Barthorpe has basically been handed this on a plate as Littlewood goes for second and doesn't quite get it. Barthorpe hangs on to it, but his main rival, uh, Miles Barthorpe's main rival for the championship, Brody Trehorn, just hasn't had the one lap pace to run with him. And now as Barthorpe hits the front and Littlewood hits second past Archie Kitching, it's looking almost done and dusted for Miles Barthorpe to be British champion. Max Edmondson there pictured. He is third in the championship currently, fourth on track on the 33 cart. Archie Kitching in third place. We did the live stream at the Manchester Boxing Cart Club last week. Unfortunately, Archie never turned up, and he was the championship leader in Minimax going into that round. I think he's lost the championship lead now, but he's been very strong uh, at Three Sisters in Wigan, uh, where which is his home club, obviously. And I, I I'd like to see, by the way, guys, lots of you guys going back to your home clubs after the Super 1 Series is over and supporting your local clubs because they really do need it. Yeah, it's a very important thing to uh, make sure that you go wherever you possibly can uh, and race at your home club because without those home clubs, you can't race in the national championship. You have to have that initial stepping stone to go and race at the national championships yeah, and everybody got, has to start somewhere. Yeah, you've got to come off novice plates and you do that at club racing and uh, clubs around the country have got all sorts of issues and uh, we're seeing lots of them going from MSA Racing and starting IKR as well as MSA and in some places uh, IKR instead of MSA. Was that Kitching making the move up the inside to Littlewood for second? I think he managed to get the move done. Yes, he did. So he is into second place now at the hairpin. So Kitching through into P2. It's Barthorpe leading, then Kitching. Uh, third is Littlewood, then it's Edmondson, Gornall and Brody Trehorn again. Second in the championship at the moment, Brody Trehorn. He's had a very exciting season. English champion this year, of course. But here at PF, for whatever reason, he's you hear the Luxor boys doing an amazing job, but they just don't seem to have the pace of the Coles Racing boys. They're just making mincemeat of them this weekend, and it's it's almost made it a very bitter end to the championship because Brody Trehorn just as good as Miles Barthorpe over one lap, in my opinion, but for whatever reason, they just haven't had the package to compete with them. Yeah, Barthorpe has been the most consistent. He's had one bad round. Archie Kitching puts in the uh, fastest lap this stage Look of the race. how much time they've lost. He's two seconds back off Gornall alone. This is not the Brody Trehorn we know. No, but as you say, Jake, he's got to take the positives out of this year. English champion, that's a big title to win, no doubt about it. And he will have that forever and a day. He'll always be able to say, I was the English champion in 2018. And he's not going to lose the runner-up spot in the championship. That is for sure as well, because no matter how well Littlewood and Edmondson do in this one, they're only going to be competing for third in the spot. And the spin! Unfortunately, they clatter together. That's Kieran Kay. He gets going pretty quickly, but that has cost him a lot of time. 
So now, a bit of a battle further up as Reynolds covers to make the move away from Elish Paleo. I think he was battling with Maciek Hamera there, Kieran Kay. We saw Kieran Kay at the Manchester and Buxton Cart Club. Had a good run there in the live stream we did from there last week as well, Kieran Kay. But it's all gone a bit pear-shaped today. Yeah, Maciek Hamera, unfortunately, in the walls as Trey Horn makes a great move up the inside of Sean Cuss. But up the inside of both of them comes Tristan Rennie. Brilliant. Oh, the man who was halfway through the season, a Honda Cadet driver. He's come into Minimax for the second half of the season. Look at that. Brilliant from Rennie. That's a brilliant move by Tristan Rennie. Is he going to hold on to it? He's going defensive into the hairpin. He's going to have he to work hold hard. on to it. Oh, that's beautiful. Great. Tristan Rennie. Brilliant move. Let's not forget, he's made the transition from Cadet to Junior halfway through the season. He literally won the English Open in Honda Cadet. And a meeting later, he was at Shennington in a Minimax. So he has made the transition halfway through the season. Very hard to do. And Rennie has shown flashes of brilliance. I'm going to put my money down now as Knight makes a great move on the inside of the pole, Machi Hamera. Oh, and a problem! A problem! That's a mechanical failure for Sam Gornall. Sam Gornall's going to be out of the race. That is a disaster for Sam. So his season is going to end on a sour note. What a shame. I was going to say about uh, Tristan Rennie, the way he's come into Minimax and been fast out of the blocks. He could be a bet for the champion in 2019. The leaders come through. It's Barthorpe, Kitching, Littlewood, Edmondson. Then behind them in the battle, it is Tristan Rennie in front of Brody Trehorn and Sean Cust. Littlewood, fastest lap of the race, but he's going to be passed here. Is he by Max Edmondson? No, he's not. Littlewood's going to chop across and keep the place moving on. The top four have broken well clear from the rest of the pack. And Tristan Rennie's gone. Tristan Rennie's gone on this first lap, having taken fifth position. Rennie's dropped back. Where is he? Yeah, we've not seen it, not picked it up on the cameras, but you can see his name dropped down to oh. uh, 16th place there. He was, he was, he was definitely leading the chase group in fifth. Unfortunately for Tristan. And now Machi Hamera's gone. Machi Hamera's gone from the chase. He was in behind Brody Trehorn, so two names from the top six have fallen. Well, this is going to give the top four an even bigger gap away from the rest of the field. But that is a heartbreak for Tristan Rennie and for Machi Hamera both of whom were ending their seasons on a high, and they're now down to 15th and 16th. Yeah, got to take the positives, though, out the weekend. That was a great move by Rennie earlier on in the race, which, be, which we happen to catch on camera. He's clearly got some pace. He's got to take that moving forward into next season. Whoa, Brody Trehorn's clutching at straws here, trying to hang on a fifth position, and he's got into the wars with Charlie Knight, and that has let the floodgates wide open. This is the difficulty with a cart that's down on power as Hamera has been given a warning flag for whatever I his incident if, was. I wonder if that was the incident with Tristan Rennie. Yeah, possibly, possibly they I were suppose. They in the same group, weren't they? Well, that's Ellis Paleo having a battle with Alex Hughes now, who's got past and at the front of the queue now, all of a sudden is Callum Voicing. Callum Voicing was down at 17th position on the grid. That's penultimate last. So an amazing fight back from Callum Voicing. But Brody Trahon, unfortunately, with the pace he just doesn't seem to be able to find. He's been the cork in the bottle. He's held everybody up. He's tried to hang on to fifth position, but the field has just swapped yeah, him. He's, he's clearly got issues with the cart because we know he's much quicker than yeah, this. Yeah, this is not the Trahon we know. No, clearly got issues with the cart today. Unfortunately for Brody, but as we said before, he's had a fantastic season and he has to take that, those positives moving forward to next year. Here comes Hughes, nice move up the inside of Callum Voicing and Alex Hughes makes his way into fifth position. Good work for young Alex Hughes, still having a very good season. Let's not forget, I could talk about top rookie, but in Minimax in 2018, it is relatively pointless. There's only two drivers in the field the who aren't rookies. rookies this season. So uh, obviously leading the way, it is uh, Miles Barthorpe and Archie Kitchen. It's almost as if this season we should give a prize to the top non-rookie because there's only two of them in the field. And that is Charlie Knight and Tristan Rennie. Not sure how that works, actually, why Tristan Rennie isn't a rookie. I suppose he's not a Super 1 rookie. That's the difference, because he was racing in Honda Cadet before he became a driver in Minimax. So uh, that's why he's not a... You've got to remember that the rookie's plate is whether you're a rookie in Super 1, not necessarily in that particular class. So that's why there's the difference. Well, there's no rookies as such in Super 1. You've, you've got to come off your novice plates before you can get uh, a National A licence to be able to race in this championship. You can, of course, come from around the world, guys. If we see the 14 making up a place. That's Hughes, and then Knight's going to get through as well. So Hughes, Knight, both through on voicing. You can come from around the world, guys. If you're interested in racing in Super 1, you can come as a guest uh, driver, which we've seen several drivers do. Emma Delattery this weekend from the USA, for example. Ooh. 
Knight getting very close to Hughes and Voisin might just get through on the right hand side. There's very, very close warring between these guys as they want to finish at the top of their battle. And that's what the great thing about racing in this category is. Even if you're not going to win the race, you want to be at the front of your queue and up the inside, Voisin makes the move to hit the front of it. Still the four out front. It's uh, Miles Barthorpe that leads it from Kitchen. Littlewood in third. Max Openson there just dropping off the back of them. This is almost two races going on, isn't it? We've got it the is. top four battling away for the last win of the year. And then 14 seconds behind them now is the battle for fifth position. You're having to look twice across the lap to watch the battles because there are two very different tussles. Littlewood, now the fastest man, 61.8. Here comes Hughes. This is the second race then for fifth position. Hughes back at the inside and Knight on the inside of Voisin. It's Groundhog Day. That's what happened on the last lap. Yeah, cameraman doing a great job of catching the midfield battle as well. So two races on track and the cameraman picking both of them up. So Kitching right in behind Miles Barthorpe, Littlewood there in third, and Edmondson in fourth place, just waiting to pounce in case there's a moment. And you know what? This is Minimax. We've seen so many dramas, so much tension, so much jockeying for position. There could well be some uh, spoils to pick up for Edmondson by the end of this race. We've got a minute and 41 on the clock, plus the additional lap on top. So expect not necessarily this lap, but certainly the next one, there is going to be some proper jostling for position as Kitching has actually fallen off the back of Barthorpe a little bit and Littlewood's getting impatient. He wants to make the move to get through. Don't lose, Miles, for goodness sake. I'm not letting him clean up with another victory. I want to get him. It's brilliant watching his cart going around. If you get a close-up of that particular cart as Barthorpe gets a 61.77, new fastest lap, you've got to go and have a look at uh, Marcus Littlewood's cart up close. That blue spot on his front fairing, that is actually a picture of the man they are celebrating, Ayrton Senna. It's one of the most incredible liveries I've ever seen in karting, and it looks absolutely stupendous. If I could pick any livery to go racing with myself as a fat, rubbish racing driver that I would be, I would so pick the Spirit of Senna colours. <laughs> Two laps and change to go as they come uh, through the complex. One more time, they'll go left-handed, then right-handed through the S's out onto the uh, main straight. Did you get a whisker of the rest of the pack? They were coming into the chicane while these yeah. guys were coming through the Mike Wilson complex. That's the gap. It's going up all the time as well as the fifth place race continues to jockey through. Voicing's now up to fifth from Knight Hughes and then it is uh, Harry Reynolds. Uh, Ellis Paleo, Sean Cuss, Brody Trehorn down to 11th now, just a whisker in front of Jed Murphy. Now comes the overtaking move because we're on the penultimate lap. Edmondson's got the new fastest lap in at the back of the queue. That is not a massive surprise because he's in their draft. Now Edmondson goes for the move on Littlewood. Littlewood goes down to fourth, but that is a big move for Kitching to take the lead. A big move from Edmondson to take third. Here comes Littlewood back what again on the inside. Move. Beautiful. That, oh, that was a dummy right out of Mother Care, sold by Marcus Littlewood there to Max Edmondson. Max having a look at him he went to the outside inside and that was a great cutback move but look what it's done it's cost them track position yeah surely this is now a two horse race between Kitching and Barthorpe as they come out of the Mike Wilson complex into the chicane for the last time but one we are now going to get the last lap board and it's now or never to win the final race of the season you have got to be on your A game here goes Barthorpe into the last lap and takes the lead brilliant so he's through under the Litchfield Bridge once again. Kitching's going to come straight back at him. He gets the lead back. And it looks as though these two are going to hold each other up and going to bring Littlewood and Edmondson into play. I thought that this would be an intense battle, but it does look like it's going to go to the final few corners of the race. Kitching now married to the inside line. He's not going to let Barthorpe get a cheap move on the undercut. Here they come again. Kitching still absolutely flirting with that inside white line. Littlewood doing everything he can to hold off Edmondson. Edmondson is going to try and get the switch back on Littlewood. Littlewood moving to cover. Edmondson coming through. Kitching and Barthorpe still absolutely locking together. Barthorpe's going to try and make the bid to come up the inside of Kitching. Bobby Game Corner could be one of his last chances. He's going to swing by for the switch back up the inside. He gets him. Edmondson makes the move on Littlewood. He gets into third position. Kitching comes back on Barthorpe. They're going to be side by side through the final chicane still they are side by side they run out wide they're going to be over the line absolutely together Edmondson on the inside that is almost a dead heat of the line between the three of them look at the timing screen Edmondson and Kitching dead heat well, Barthorpe a hundredth in it it's been given to Edmondson I don't as, believe as, it as, as these can't still battle well Brody Trayvon still in the battle well in the middle. it's gonna be a photo surely Let, let, let's look at the replay because Edmondson got the run on both of them as they ran wide at the line 
Oh, it's too close to call. Edmondson thinks he's got it. We've got the photo finish, and here's the thing, guys. The transponders that, that time the carts are on the back of the seat, but in the case of a photo finish like this, it goes on the front nose cone. It's down to the officials. Look at it. That is the official picture. They've given Rule it. out the man on the right. Who do you think got it, guys? Well. They've given it to the O plate, the man in the middle. That is the official timing. But the official times don't count in a yeah. photo finish. It's the front nose cone. I would have given that to Edmondson, but the officials thought otherwise. Well, Miles, what can I say? Four races are this weekend and you won all four of them, but that last one was mighty, mighty close. Yeah, it was very close. I, Archie was giving me a really good fight, which I liked, really. Yeah. So obviously when you win a race by a couple of millimetres, you now have to try and figure out how to win it by several seconds. What's the off-season going to be like? Uh, don't. I don't really know. Really, I like a good fight anyway. I don't. It gets. It's nice to run away with the lead, but it's a good fight every now and again. But it's been an impeccable season. The whole Coles Racing team, everybody behind you, have been absolutely fantastic, and you've been absolutely on song all year. Who do you want to thank for the 2018 season? Uh, Coles Racing, my dad, my mom, all my family, uh, Auto Bright Direct, Scott and Tire Engineering, Tile Mountain, and just everyone that's helped along the way. I have the feeling this is the first of many championships for you, Miles. Well done, buddy. Thank you. All four races won, and Barthorpe is the champion, and also the winner of the closest finish in karting history since the birth of the sport in 1959. Awesome. Junior Max have a lot to live up to now.